What is going on everyone? It's Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures here. Thank you for coming back for yet another video. In this week's video, we're going to be doing the first mowing of the season, the first fertilizer application, and the first application of pre-emergent weed control for the 2021 lawn care season. So without further ado, let's roll the video. March 24th, 2021. This is how the backyard looks after the first mowing of the season. As you can see, we are looking pretty darn good after winter. So anyway, I apologize for this part, the audio cut out, but what I was saying is I was admiring the stripes here after the first cut. I did use the roller, my stripe kit, so as you can see they came out pretty good. So I'm going to head up here to the front, put the camera on the tripod, let you guys watch me work, and I'm going to give you my tips to have the best first cut of the season you've had in a while. Alright, alright, so as I said, the first cut of the season for me this year happened to be on March 24th, 2021, so... A little bit on the early side, but hey, we have to get out there and beat the neighbors, right? Someone's got to be first. So anyway, when it comes to doing the first cut of the season, beforehand, I'll go around and I'll blow out, you know, the flower beds just to be sure I had all the leaves out. Even though I did a fall cleanup, there's probably a few stragglers I missed. In this case, this year I happen to have none, but some years I have some leaves. The next thing I do is obviously I come in and I cut the grass. What I do is I set the height of cut one notch. I will set the height of cut one notch lower from where I left off last fall. So last fall I left off at two and a half inches. I believe the setting on this is two and one eighth inches. You can tell here I'm cutting off, you know, a decent amount. I'm exposing some of the green. The reason we want to cut lower is to cut off some of the brown pips that maybe got a little bit of frost burn. Cutting a little lower is also going to stimulate more growth to encourage the grass to wake up and start spreading. And the third thing I do is I always use my bag. You know, we have leaves that may be out there on the lawn. We have debris, you know, maybe some sticks and rocks left over from the winter time. I always use the bag for the first cut. Even if it looks like it doesn't need it, I still use it. It just, for me, it's what I've done. I encourage you to do that in case you do have any debris left out there. The mower should pick it up. And the last thing is the stripe kit. It's optional, but hey, I've been sitting inside for four months, so I figured let's put the stripe roller on and get some stripes. Now the grass was still, you know, partially dormant, so the stripes aren't as good as they could be. But come back in a couple weeks and we'll lay down some nice stripes. As you can see, here is the finished product. Looks pretty good. The stripes. They are here. As you can see, they're not in full force. Come back in about three weeks from now, and these stripes are going to be absolutely on fire. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get to do the spray applications today, but I will continue this video on a separate day when it's a little less windy with my first application of the season. So with that, we'll jump to that right now. And we have finally reached a non-windy day. March 27th, 2021. First application of the season going down, but before we do, it's been three days since I did that mow. Let's see how the lawn is looking now. So I have no idea how it's going to show up on camera, because I can't really see it too well, but the lawn is looking much better already. The side yard here as well is also looking much greener. And then here's the front yard. Again, I have no idea how it's going to show up, but just from that mow three days ago, we had some good rain the following day. It is looking very, very good. Now that we got the first mow done, let's talk about today's applications. The first thing going down today is this Prodiamine Crabgrass Preventer. Prodiamine here is designed to stop problem grasses and weeds such as crabgrass, foxtail, and spurge from coming into your lawn. This is a liquid product and it needs to be applied with a tank sprayer. The application rate today is 5.2 grams into one gallon of water, which covers 1,000 square foot of lawn space. That will be weighed out here with this little kitchen scale in that cup. The second thing going down today is our fertilizer. Today I'm using 1801 Green Punch from the Green County Fertilizer line. In here we have 18% nitrogen, 1% potassium, 1% sulfur, and 1.5% iron. As well as 5% humic acid to add carbon to the soil and 1% of sea kelp to help stimulate roots and rhizomes. Application rate today is going to be 18 ounces per 1,000 square feet. Lastly, to provide additional boost to our root system, I'm going to use RGS, which stands for Root Growth Stimulant. It contains 6% humic acid and 3% sea kelp to add carbon to the soil, strengthen our roots, and encourage spreading in the bluegrass. Application rate today is 3 ounces per thousand. 
Before we do that though, we need to have a little safety talk. We are spraying weed control here, herbicide, a crabgrass preventer, so we need to be wearing our proper safety gear. Which in our case is rubber boots, long pants, long sleeves, rubber gloves, and some sort of eye protection. So how are we going to mix up these products? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. First things first is to fill your spray unit three quarters of the way up with water, which I have already done. As far as the order of mixing these three products, here's how you do it. Root growth stimulant first, green punch second, prodiamine third. You're going to want to go ahead and measure the RGS and the green punch with a measuring cup and the prodiamine with a little scale like that. Make sure you agitate it well so as you're pouring that in, you're going to want to stir it. I have an old piece of PVC pipe here left over from a winter project that I'm going to use. That's perfect. I suppose a paint stirring stick would work as well. But let's get these mixed up and then I'll do a voiceover on how to actually spray the product on your yard. Alright, so once you've got your spray unit filled up, you got everything mixed correctly, your safety gear is on, you're going to want to start with what's called a trim pass. A trim pass, as you see me doing here, is going around the perimeter of everything. Landscape beds, sidewalks, driveway, everything. Coat those edges as well. While you're at it, make sure that the nozzle of the sprayer is about knee height or about 18 inches off the ground. Once you've completed the trim pass, go ahead and do fill in the rest of your lawn. What you want to do is overlap tip to tip. So the spray of one pass should overlap maybe an inch or two with the spray of the last pass. Does that make sense? And it's just a matter of going back and forth. Make sure you know you're concentrating and getting everything done, you know, properly. And that's about it. And when the application's over, make sure you clean up your spray unit well. Make sure that the application gets watered in within 24 to 48 hours with about a half inch of rain. Or in my case, you may have to supplement because sometimes Mother Nature will not cooperate with you. That's about it. And I'll have some uh, quick results here of what this application did maybe a few days after. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the outro. Alright everyone, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. Before I close out this video, and I'm going to close it out with uh, how the lawn looks five days after the application, I want to thank Jake the Lawn Kid for sharing my most recent video on the weed control strategy, and welcome all the new subscribers that have come over from Jake's channel. So thank you very much to all of you who have come over and subscribed, and if you haven't and you're watching this video and you're unsubscribed, please consider subscribing, it really does help out my YouTube channel. I have no idea how that's turning out, but April 1st, 2021, this is five days post-application, as you can see, we're looking amazing. I mean, that green punch fertilizer, just take a look at this, it looks really, really good. Here is the side lawn, as you can see, it has greened up fairly well after that application. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but right about there, there's your before and after, pretty much. And then the parkway strip out there, as you can see, is also fairly green after that application. Alright everyone, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. With that said, this is just the start of the 2021 lawn season, and plenty more is in store for this season. For those of you who watched to the end, I have a special video coming for you guys next week. So that's all I'm going to say, so stay tuned for next week's video. With that, I'm Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in next week's video.